growing up in Utah and being a dancer, like I was bullied pretty severely um, in school and, and went to several different schools because I kept getting beaten up. And Why? Just because being a dancer wasn't cool. It was, it was. They thought it was effeminate? It was, yeah. It wasn't like a cool thing to do. And so now when I talk to young kids, you know, especially like young boys and they're like, I'm a dancer and they, and it's cool, you know, now. And I think because, you know, people have been educated in the athleticism, the artistry um, of dance, and there's more of a knowledge around it and uh, an awareness of it. And I think it's, uh, it's really cool to see how much has grown and developed and expanded over the years. And to be a part of that, you know, evolution or revolution of dance this past decade, it's been great. So all of that did it. And you were the kind of dancer who could do anything, right? Well, my, my technical background um, that I competed in and became like a world champion in was Latin dancing, you know, cha-cha, samba, rumba, paso doble, jive. And, and, but I always loved tap. I loved hip hop. I loved contemporary. So I love to learn. I love to learn and to absorb and to constantly grow. And um, so, yeah, so always having sort of a hybrid of different styles in my vocabulary of movement has always been really important to me. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.